Good morning, good morning, Algebra 2. Uh, here we are in this lesson 10.2, uh, change of base formula, and we'll explain that very shortly, but uh, for the week today, uh, this is what we're going to be doing. This is going to be a pretty short lesson today, then you have to complete 10.2, uh, try on your own. Tomorrow, we will be having a formative quiz on 10.1 to 2.2. Now, the way this is going to work, our virtual students will be given access to a PDF version of that formative, and that will open at 7.30 Tuesday morning. And you will either print that PDF, so you can, as a handwritten test or handwritten quiz, so you'll either print it or you'll complete it on your own paper and then submit it to your grading teacher by 4 p.m. Tuesday evening, okay? The formative is assigned on Tuesday and expected to be completed on Tuesday. Then Wednesday, we're going to be doing lesson 10.3. Uh, then you will, those are all properties of logarithms, and you will complete your 10.3 try on your own. And Thursday, we will have 10.4 day one, and you'll have just a few problems to do in the homework, and then we'll finish that one up the following Monday. All right. So what you have here is you have a little uh, warm-up for you to go on. Uh, number one, given f of x equals 4 to the x, what we want to do is we want to find the inverse of f of x equals 4 to the x. Then I want you to graph it. And then without a calculator here in number 2, I want you to estimate the, the, the logarithm to the nearest tenth by identifying the integers uh, the value falls between, which is a good exercise of understanding your number sense. Okay, and we're going to be estimating a log base 3 of 33, and I want you to estimate this to the nearest tenth and show your method of estimating using either exponents or logarithms. And I just may have a number, kind of a number line made for me on here. Uh, so why don't you hit pause and why don't you uh, do these problems up and I will be right back. Okay, so when we come back first in order to find the inverse of f of x equals 4 to the x, remember that's the same thing as y equals 4 to the x. And if we're finding an inverse like we learned last week, we just switch x and y. So that means x equals 4 to the y, and if I rewrite that, that means uh, this is a base 4 exponential, so that's a log base 4. Remember, logs equal exponents, and uh, so it's a log base 4 of x equals y. So that is my inverse function right here. Now, if I want to take that and graph that, I make an xy chart. Remember, anytime we're graphing a log, there are two critical points, two crucial points we're going to ask you to find, and that is when... The log, when I plug 1 into the log, and when I plug the base into the log. And then that means a log base 4 of 1 equals, excuse me, what does that equal? That equals 0 because 4 to the power of 0 equals 1. So that outputs a 1. And also a log base 4 of 4, what does that equal? That's going to equal 1 because 4 to the first power equals 4. So that's why... Uh, I put a zero here, or the zero, because we're finding the exponent, and then this is 4 comma 1. So what I do is I come over, I go to 1, 0, I go to 1, 2, 3, 4, comma 0, and I just graph that guy, and remember, um, those logs are inverse functions, so it's a slow-growing function this direction, and then it never, ever goes into the negatives for x's, okay? And... Then what we're going to do is we are going to approximate, without the use of a calculator, we're going to estimate the logarithm to the nearest 10. Well, I'm kind of thinking here, because that's a base 3, I'm thinking 3 to the third power equals 27. Okay, so that's over here why I say a log base 3 of 27. That outputs a 3 for me. And I also know the next one up, 3 to the fourth equals 81. So I know this number for a log base 3 of 33. And basically what I'm doing is I'm looking for 3 to what power is going to give me 33. Well, I know it's between 3 and 4. Now, logically thinking here, if I went smack dab between 3 and 4, that would be 3.5, I would assume. And then I would also assume that you would understand that that would be the same as a log base 3 of what? Well, what is the number in the middle? What is the average of 27 and 81? Well, the average of those two numbers would be 54. So just mathematically logically thinking, I would expect 
the log base 3 of 54 to be about 3.5. It may, it may not be. And then, well, I'm, I'm after a 33. Well, 33 is going to be between 27 and 54. So smack dab between there would be like a 3.25. And that would be reflecting a log base 3 of what? Well, what number is between 27 and 54? What's the average of 27 and 54? That would be a 40 and a half, or 40.5. Well, I can take this one step further, and I could say, oh, what number is between 3 and 3.25? Well, that would be 3.125. And I'm trying to figure out, should I be picking 3.1 or 3.2? Well, I know this should logically be a log base 3 of, well, what's the average of 27 and 40.5? Maybe a 33.75. So if a log base 3 of 33.75, I would, math, without a calculator, I would expect is going to be about 3.125. Well, 33 is pretty dang close to that, so I'm going to estimate this at about 3.1, and I'm going to be happy. Now, it might be 3.2, but estimation-wise, it's going to be closer to 3. As far as the way we are estimating this, we would expect it to be closer to 3.1, okay? So the rest of this lesson today, um, we made uh, certain equations. Well, how do I even read that? What, what made certain equations algebraically unsolvable for us? Uh, meaning no guess and check, or, or we had to guess and check, or we had to use a graphing calculator, okay? Well, in problem two of lesson 9.1, 10.1, uh -huh. 10.1, okay. yeah, I forgot to fix that, so it should be 10.1. We identified certain problems that were not solvable with the scientific calculator because the base of the logarithm was not 10 or e. What are you talking about? Well, we knew if we had a log base 10 of 2, we could type that right into your calculator because your calculator has pre-programmed all your log base 10s or an ln because that's a base E, which is never written. So if I need to know a log base 10 of any number, I can just type that right into my calculator. Well, well the problem we were working with was we were trying to find out what 2 to what power equals 10, and that was unsolvable before. And then we learned that we can rewrite this because logarithms are exponent finders, and we can say, well, log base 2 of 10, that's what my exponent is, okay? Well. This is a log base 2 of 10. It's not a log base 10, so, so I can't type that into my calculator. I have to do it a special way. Well, there's this thing called the change of base formula, and the change of base formula is right here. And bottom line, what this says is anytime this base B, anytime that is anything other than a 10, in order to get these into our calculator, now also, a, B, and C, they have to be positive numbers. And remember, A and B, okay, A and B are not 1, and they're also, well, they're not 0, obviously, because it says that over there. But any time your base of the log is something other than E or other than 10, there's a special way we have to type this into our calculator. And what we do is we are going to break this into a log base A of C and a log base B of a log base A of B. Well, I think of that little B, okay? I think of that guy as the base because it is, okay? And I also think another word for this C, I like to call it the guts, okay? Now, that's just the Kruger term here. It's the innards. It's the inside of a log. It's the guts of a log, okay? And whenever I'm trying to use my change of base formula, okay, I need to rewrite this both in a base 10. Now, I can rewrite it in any base log, okay? Notice it can be any base, so those are both A's. But what's programmed into your calculator is a base 10. So if I need to find out how to find a log base 2 of 10, okay, I need to change the base of that log base 2 of 10, and I can rewrite that as the log Notice that's the log of the guts, okay, the log of the inside, so I'm thinking the log base 10 of, in this case, it's going to be 2, eh, no it's not, it's going to be the log of the guts, so it's the log base 10 of 10 divided by a log 
base 10 of 2. Okay, now you remember if you're writing a log base 10, it's implied you do not have to write these little pens here if you don't want to because it's implied when they're naked, it, it, it's a base 10. So then I'm going to type that into my calculator. Well, if I want to use a base e exponential function, well, if, I, I, if I'm approximating this because the ln is the same base, that's a base e, right? So if I took the log of 10, ln of 10, and divided it by the ln of 2, okay, there's my, there's my log. But again, all right, all lns, all natural logs, they're the same, so I don't need to write that e. Both of these are going to give me the exact same answer, okay? And that's what we're looking for. So let me show you here. Let me pull up my calculator. And what I would do is I would say control divide. I'd pull up a fraction. And you're going to have to type this into years, and you're going to say, well, we're going to say a log base 10 of, what are we doing here? We're doing base 10 of 10, and we're going to divide that by a log base 10, and you're, you don't have to put the 10 on yours, of 2. What does that equal? Well, that equals 3.3219. Well, we figured that was going to be between 3 and 4, or I could also use a natural log, okay, an ln of 10, a log which is a base e log, and it's just the ln of 2. This is going to equal the exact same thing. And if you had a fancy calculator like the one I'm using here, as long as your bases are the same, like I could do a log base 3. Oh, crap. Get in there. Come on. Get in there. I could do a log base 3 of 10, and I could divide that by a log base 3 of 2, and as long as the bases, the bases of these logs, as long as they're the same, this thing is always going to, this thing is always going to equal, I got to erase that now, it's always going to equal the same thing if those bases are the same. Now, it's also important to understand. Your calculator, you, 99% of you, can't type in a log base 3 because if you could, you wouldn't have to use a change of base. So what you will be using, you are either going to enter it in a base E log like that one or a base 10 log like that one to find the answers, okay? And all this is is we have three problems here. We got three whole problems for you to figure this out. So I'm going to help you with the first one quick, and I need to know, well, 5 to what power is 36? Well, I know 5 squared is 25, and I know 5 to the third is 125, so I know it's going to be between 2 and 3, but exactly what is it? I don't know. Well, the first thing I need to actually do is I need to rewrite that. That's a base 5 exponential, so that's going to be a log base 5. Remember, logs equal the exponent, and... Our result just goes right inside there. Well, if I need to use my calculator to get this, guys, you don't have a base 5. You need to use your change of base. So you're going to write the log of 36, the log of the inside, divided by the log of the base of 5. And you're going to type it just into your calculator like that. And when you type that into your calculator, you should get 2.2. 2, 7 if I have you round them to three decimal places. So why don't you give that a shot, and I'm going to do these last two, and then we're going to be done. Okay, so if you move on to number three there, remember that's going to be that's a base three exponential, so it's a base three log. Remember logs equal the exponent, which leaves that 112 has to go on the inside. Well, I don't have a base three. Well, I do, but you don't have a base three log in your calculator, so you got to use your change of base formula by taking the log base 10 of the inside of the log, 112, divided by the log base 10 of 3. You're going to type that into your calculator just like that. You should be getting 4.295. And it, that decimal is going to keep on and going. So that's what we should get. Now, this last one, we have 15 to the x equals 4. The first thing we need to do is we need to rewrite it. Well, that's a base 15 exponential, so that's going to be a base 15 log. Remember, logs equal the exponents there, and the 4 
is my, what did we call it? We called it the result, I think, last week. So, well now, this they're all numbers in that log, and because there's no variables in there, now I'm gonna use my change of base. And I can say log of four, the log of the inside divided by the log of the base, and type that into my calculator, or you can take Kruger's lazy route here. You know, this is a little bit too much work for me, I'm gonna be honest with you, because it doesn't matter what base we rewrite these, I typically would do an ln of four divided by an ln of 15, and that's gonna be approximately, so both of these are point uh, 0.512 and 0.512, so this is just the epitome of my laziness factor, because when I write it like this, it's two fewer letters, I only have to write ln rather than log, okay? And that is our change base formula today, guys. It's really important you know how to do this. It's really important you are able to enter these into your calculator because uh, <clears throat> pretty quick, right around the corner, we will be solving logarithm problems and you need to be able to type these into your calculator. So from there, that's it, man, we're done. Uh, just do your 10.2 homework and we'll talk to you tomorrow.